Hey there, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a reading in a pick a card style for how is your best friend thinking about you right now? Let's get into it right away. Pile one. How's Pile one's best friend viewing them right now? What is their best friend thinking about them right now? Pile one. Okay. The best friend is a little worried about you right now. They could be feeling like you have um, a lot on your mind. You could have been dealing with something very stressful and you're waiting, awaiting justice or you're awaiting some kind of formal news. You could be waiting on something like official documents or a court proceeding. You may have a case open right now. You're awaiting a start to something, okay? You have known this person through various ups and downs here. You always seemed like a very confident person. There could have been a little uh, conversation here about what's right and what's not. You know, there could have been some kind of challenge and... Uh, what I do see here is that you both do have mutual respect here. They could have been someone saying no, but this person does have a lot of love for you. You are very fair to each other. Maybe this person helped you out financially here and there. I, I see that that's mutual. Both of you are known. For example, like you're known for being friends. There's like a group of other people who know, who recognize that these are best friends. You've been to each other's home and it's been a real pleasant time. You, you've also been very involved in going out. This person has you deep in their heart. They look at you as a very honest person. Sometimes they feel like you worry a lot or worry too much or they could be worried about you at this time. I feel like this person looks forward to a long future with you. You know, this person is uh, already a part of your home. They don't openly say how much they love or care about you, but it's evident in their actions. This is a person who talks about you a lot. They're very proud of you. They feel like they don't need a single other friend. This person is very um, grateful to have you in their life. And this is how they're seeing you right now. All right. See you later, Pile 1. Take care. Love you. Bye. Hey there, Pile 2. This is going to be your reading here for... How is your best friend thinking about you right now? What are they thinking about you right now? Let's get into it right away. How are they viewing you? What is your best friend thinking about you right now? Pile two. Excuse me. Pile two. Okay, you could be on the outs with this friend of yours. Uh, you two could have met online initially. But there is some distance here. It could be an emotional distance. Um, you could have drifted apart from this friend. But this is who you know as your best friend. You have uh, gone very far away from them. There was some traveling here. You could have had a rough ending, but... You used to look at this person as your dear friend. You used to give each other very good ideas. When you met this person, you guys got acquainted very quickly. It was a very... Um, quick friendship. Like, you two bonded over pain? So it was like a it's the best friend you made out of trauma bonding here. I see you've moved far away from that whole situation. Not that you had a problem with them, but it's like the last couple interactions may have not been so healthy. And uh, you've gone very far away from them now. Um, and as a result of that, as a result of that, I guess picking up the pieces just seemed like too much work for either of you, so... It was like you kind of like let it go. 
but you think back sometimes when whenever you do think back you're like ah that was my best friend kind of a thing huh it's could have been your wingman wingman wing girl you know you could have hit the club or something together and you were happy at that time i guess both of you grew apart you have different interests now and you just know you wouldn't connect with this person anymore so even though that the whole friendship didn't go to shit it's like this is your past so they're not part of your life anymore but this person has a lot of unresolved uh, emotions about you they kind of look up to you in a way like they're not happy to do that in some way some they could be a little jealous. They may have some bit of envy towards you. Uh, perhaps when you were moving away, they could have like been a little negative about it. They could have like told you off. And I see that you were innocent in that, but you didn't think much of it and just moved on. Like you have a new life now, so you didn't really take take it to heart as bad. But this person does appreciate that you found more success away. They were envious, but like they do respect it at the end of the day. And they would hate to have to make you choose. I'm yawning too much here. That's what I got for you, pal, too. I love you guys. See you later, right? So your friend, your friend, this is an ex-friend who you still find to be your best friend in the past. But you two grew apart because of lifestyle changes. All right, and there's still some love buried there, but you guys both love your lives too much to go back. Hi, pal three. This is going to be a reading here for what is your best friend thinking about you right now? How are they viewing you right now? Let's get into it right away. What is Pile Three's best friend thinking about them right now? There's only three piles here. Okay, this friend of yours could have started like breadcrumbing you, so then you took a distance from them. This person is overthinking. Maybe you got married or you got into a relationship and distanced yourself from them. They distanced yourself, themselves from you. They Maybe they started breadcrumbing you. And you distanced yourself from them because you were very busy. You had a lot of different things to do. I'm saying you could have gotten married or gotten into a relationship here with a long-term partner. And because of this, you don't hang around this friend anymore. Your lifestyle changed a lot. And this person was emotional about it for a while. But I do see that they're they understand that you've moved on and even though they could have felt a little betrayed at first i see like this person is happy for you at the end of the day they they may be still single here but uh they do they do hope the best for you this person could be struggling with finances a little bit or their own security they felt safer when you were in their life i guess that's the one that's it um but this person's happy for you you could be having children soon this person is happy for that you know they understand that you had to move on to make your better happiness and they support you in that even if they didn't at first this person is happy to see you growing they're making some moves for themselves to grow as well there is a big distance here now but I do feel that the love is intact. This person sees you as very well put together, very confident. You always have a nice dress on. You always the, the flyest clothes. And you both you both ruled the world together. Pile 2 could also be your pile here. It could be something like ruled the world as in this could have been your wingman, wing girl type of thing. Could have been a drinking buddy as well. I'm seeing here with the Nine of Cups. But it was time to move on, and you guys both made that happen here. This person would love the day where they could meet you again, all right? Love you guys. See you later. That's it for this reading. Take care, all right?